Hello everyone and welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I'm Slim Mathis and last time we got the mission to head out to Temperantra and this time, well, we're gonna go and do that. We are ready to go and let's set sail at once. Lady Morag, greetings. I have news from the front. Our Titan weapon has crossed the central border. It's advancing at about 40 Titan pets per hour. Oh, I want to get in front of it. Is there a suitable place to dock? There's a bay fairly close by. If you dock there, you should be able to get to the cliffs above it. Understood. Go! Yes, ma'am. And continuing the trend of just flying through uh, different titans at a breakneck pace, we're in Temperantia. Now, uh, I have Morag, Zeke, Let's and Mor uh, Nia in the party, rather, uh, just because I do know what is coming up. And, yeah, uh, I just need to make sure I have Sheba well, or not, uh, make sure we have Nia well equipped. To put this team to um, good use. Maybe I should switch Rex in. I do, again. I know it's coming up, and I don't know how well we'll be able to take care of it. Um, but yeah, just exploring through Temperantia. This is another area kind of left like Leftheria, where a lot of it goes unexplored. Um, if you don't really, if you have no, re um, if you don't come back here for side quests, you don't really go through too much of Temperantia. But yeah, we of course will be exploring all this area. But in the side questing video, there's looks like we've been rumbled. Honestly, no, there's there's a few more Im more important things right now to to take care of. So we're just gonna run past these enemies. And yeah, sure, more agonias are taking a little bit of damage, but it'll be fine. As well, I mean, we're already near the quest marker. We've been making some good pace. Yeah. Um, off screen, I edited core chips as well as. Zeke's uh, arts, both on his affinity chart and with his blade arts, or driver arts. How awful. Hmm, they didn't stand a chance. Look, over there. Everyone, okay? Just about, I think. We have to stop it. How do we do that? On its back, there's an Ardanium drive mechanism. If we can somehow sever the cables connecting it to each leg, its energy supply will be cut off. It'll stop. Lady Mithra, I presume you'll be able to destroy them. Good plan. Sure, that sounds like a feasible measure. That is, if we don't mind reducing the whole area to ashes. What do you mean? I read instruction manuals. It's my job to know these things. The weapon is powered by vaporized Titan bodily fluids. The gas it makes is completely unstable. The slightest shock and we have a giant explosion on our hands. There was an accident here just three months ago because we didn't see how unstable it was. If we just attacked without realizing that... Oh, damn it! Why make a weapon that dangerous? As long as we got the weapon inside enemy lines, destroying the weapon would destroy them too. That was the justification given. That's so cold, it's almost impressive. That's exactly why the Emperor called a halt to the excavation. How we gather the people on board? The control center is protected by ten layers of armor. The chances of it being breached or destroyed are low. But 
That armor is limited. It doesn't entirely cover the energy cables. So, it's them or nothing. How we get up on Titan's back? Up ahead. There's a spot where the cliff juts out. If we can get up there, we'll be able to jump onto its back. But if our time ends off, we go head first down to the bottom of the cliff. And we'd have to make it across, avoiding its attacks all the while. I'll take care of it. Fun? I mean, I'll stop the Titan moving. While it's stopped, you all jump onto its back. Fun, you... All right, then. But you better be careful. Don't worry. I will. Then let's go. And so we know what we're doing. As in, well, we're hijacking a Titan. Uh, there's a bunch of more Mars as well as Guiana's here. Um, you can avoid those. Uh, if you walk into these exploded areas, we'll take gradual damage over time. As our party is showing off there. So yeah, Looks you can like just overall wrong. avoid them. Get Haggle Sword Tip. And yeah, we just reached the end. Almost there. Ah, we can't get closer. Allow me. Fam. Leave her. She'll be fine. Trust me. Now, let's move. Yeah. We just need to cut that. What? An independent defense mechanism. Ardenian technology. My apologies. Why would you even bloody make something like that? Reach later. Fight now. And so, right off the bat, we have Aishma's Core. Um, there's also some power lines. Uh, I think we just need to be power lines. So, we're gonna focus on these first. Um, once they actually get over here, that is. And, yeah. Because this is a boss fight, I do want to, you know, actually show this fight off. Yeah, um, overall, uh, just getting into Zeke starts. Uh, Corvin is really good. This, again, Corvin is insanely good. Um, so if you if you have the expansion pass, you might want to use him earlier than you know I have and just got him up with Zeke. But at the same time, I mean I just like Zeke a lot for Corvin. Um, unfortunately, he's shield. He's uh, shackled. Blade, which meant that we couldn't advance the combo anymore. Uh, he's weak to uh, the power lines are weak to Earth, so we'll bring in Wolfric again. Wolfric we've seen before, um, back with Van Dam, all the way, you know, back, back at that point in time. And yeah, uh, this fight, it's I'm not gonna say it's easy. Because it's not, by any means. Um, yeah, we're we're doing better than I thought we would, but that's still not saying much. Especially because Morag's down again. Aishma's core has a lot of really painful attacks. Um, so just keep that in mind, especially now that we've gone down again. Yeah, uh, this, this fight is surprisingly difficult. And hope I doubt Corvin will be able to take care of it. Yeah, it's this is a this is a tough fight. Um, again, I don't put it near the level of the Malice Akos fight. Um, if we lose the battle, heading over here will get us to an airflow, which just requires Windmaster One leaping one. Of course, we have Zenobia equipped on Morag, so that doesn't really cause any problems at all. 
Once again, I, I want to focus down on the power lines just because, um, yeah, that keeps healing up the the core as long as power lines are intact. So yeah, um, this, this fight it's definitely on the difficult side. Now, unfortunately, I'm a little bit I'm more equipped for um for being able to do a you know. A, a driver combo instead of blade combo, but we'll just have to make do. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm just, uh, Mia has a bunch of break arts. Um, actually, I totally got about topple. Um, yeah, that would be kind of important to have some top, but like, again, now that we have Zeke, we really have a lot of access to being able to do, um, being able to do driver combos because Zeke has both launch and smash, which were the two that we were missing. And ooh, just in time for the level three with the state explosion. Just keep on spamming the B button, frigid, and that'll be able to get power lines down fairly well. Uh, not as low as I was hoping. Um, wait, I really hope that we can survive for a. Percent level. Mia, why did you equip Percent? We needed her. Ah. Mia, you fool. Yeah, pretty much once. Once Mia goes. Or once you have one party member go down, things get a little bit on the tough side. And for some reason, it's. Oh, probably because of Shackle Blade. Um. The problem is that Corvin has some really, really slow arts, so even though his level 1 heals, yeah, we weren't able to get it there in time. Um, I'm going to try putting Rex in the party. Uh, who does Rex have equipped right now? Uh, Perun and Rock. Um... I'm going to equip Ursula and Boreas, just so we can get a lot more healing in, because we do need a lot of healing. Again, this fight, it's not, I wouldn't call it difficult, per se, it's more annoying than difficult. Lend me your transient fleeting aid. But yeah, uh, power lines, go after them first, because otherwise, are you kidding me, Nia? Sometimes your party will just fall off the side of the cliff, um, and it's really annoying. Um, you don't have to worry about it too much, usually, but it still is enough to be something that exists. So yeah, um, gonna keep on working down on this, uh, working down on the power line. And we should be able to get a... We should be able to get a level 3 combo pretty quickly, actually. Some good healing there. Right now, uh, we have we have a wind on Bor on uh, Rex in the form of Boris, and we have a wind on Nia in the form of Adenine. Luckily, Boris' level three is really good at healing. Um, again, while usually you want to have a you know pair of you know a healer, a tank, and a damager, uh, sometimes, especially if you're having difficulty, you might just want to have a couple more healers than usual. And yes. Now it's about to heal, but that is not happening anymore. Um, yeah. And I keep forgetting that we have uh, Shackle Blade on us right now. We should be able to be. We'll be fine. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to get one of. Oh, well, that's okay. I was really hoping that we'd be able to get the, um... Which is not that we actually have, you know, someone that can reasonably take care of... Oh, jeez. Uh, that was a lot of damage. Nia almost went down there. Um, oh, jeez. Yeah, H1's core has some really powerful arts that it can use. Um... But overall, like, you don't have to deal with it too much. Um, hmm. 
Let's Hopefully, okay, well, we can at least get the heal up with Corbin's level 1. Which is pretty nice. It's a, it's a decent heal, it's not great by any means, but it's not bad either. Um, Seal Sin is down with pretty nice. But, I mean, honestly, I'm just more in it for the damage of the level 3 at this point. So yeah, you defeat the power lines, you defeat the boss. Stopped. Yes, seems like it. It's you. I thought it might be. Jin! I knew it. So this is Jin, leader of Torna. I am Fan Lenorn. As envoy of Praetor Malthus, I am bringing you into custody. How ironic that you should speak his name with that face, oblivious to everything, even your own identity. What? Do you know something about... And you, Aegis. Don't you dare stand there, acting like you're not involved in all this. All right. Then tell me this. Why are you, who fought alongside us to defeat Malos, now standing by his side? Jin... fought against him. It's very simple. I realized he had the right of it. That's all. as simple as that at all. So clever. You always were too clever for your own good. Sorry. That's just the way I am. Mithra! Don't tell me! Yes. He's a blade too. He was the strongest blade in Torna. Until it fell in the war. It fell, says the girl who sang it. A blade? There were none stronger, yet none kinder, either. And no one who hated to fight more than him. Why, Jin, what changed? What if I told you it was your fault? Mine. If you hadn't sealed yourself away, then she'd still. Oh. So that's it. Crystal. A color. It's like blood. Careful. That crystal isn't normal. Put away your sword. My ability is to restrict a blade's every action. As long as you are a blade, there is nothing you can do to escape its clutch. Wait, restricting blade's powers? Then before was that? And now we have our first fight against Jin. Uh, yeah, Jin, he's a, he's a bit of a tough opponent. Now, um, on the point of Jin, um, with the expansion cast, one of the main things that you get with it is the DLC Torn of the Golden Country. Um, I will be doing that, however, I will be waiting until after I have completely finished up um, the base game before I do that. What? Corbin, why are you not... What are you doing, Corbin? What? Good, Corbin? Corbin just decided he didn't want to do anything today. Uh, yeah, Jin, he has the ability to immediately inflict launch. He also, I believe, does have an ability to inflict smash as well, so you have to be very careful around him. He's a tough opponent, and I feel like, well, that makes sense. 
Yeah, he has Stone Swallow, which is basically a counter art that inflicts launch. Scout Slash, I believe, also can inflict launch, but I am not certain about that. I Again, I know a lot about this game, I don't know everything about this game. So, we'll be able to get a level 3 combo in pretty quickly, now that Corbin's actually decided that he wants to do stuff. We can see Corbin's level 3 in a little bit more depth now. Um, of course, Aishman's core is in the way. He's a bit on the unfortunate side. So he really couldn't see what was happening, but still, lots of damage to Jin. And well, he's almost at half health now. Uh, empty, empty moment. That's a pretty powerful tag. Again, Jin is a very, very tough opponent. Do not take him lightly. I feel like that's probably, you know, that is pretty well established over the course of the game that you really shouldn't mess with Jin. But, uh, I mean, Thanks. we're messing with him right now, so, and it's not going all too bad. You, uh, I actually find this fight a little bit tougher than Aishman's core, but, yeah, for some reason, I just had way too much problem with, with it. Um, empty moment, it evades attacks, which is a little bit on the annoying side. Um, now, we should be able to get a level 3, oh. Well then, um, I was hoping that Rex would be able to topple because, uh, actually, no, both of Zeke's right now are, I think both Wolfric, oh no, Pandoria has a launch, and Corvin I believe has a snap, yeah. Uh, Corvin, he's actually very similar in terms of what his arts do uh, with everyone, um, all of his drivers have... Uh, with all of his drivers, he has a evade art, he also has, um, I believe a smash art on everyone. Um, again, his, his arts are essentially the same as the katanas, um, so just keep that in mind. And we should be able to get another level 3, maybe we can actually really take him out with, uh, with a, with a nice... Fun chain attack. Uh, depends on if we're able. I mean, I want to get three in because that would be fun. Uh, of course, he does have a very strong empty moment coming through, so we can just take care of him. And Jin's taking a very awkward route to get here, but that'll be fine. And Pandora, would you mind? Well, it'll be fine. We're gonna miss the three, but we still have enough to to take care of things. Um, I want to make sure that we're at least a little bit healed up. Um, we'll just do some damage with Pyra, and I want to make sure. Oh, oh, well, it doesn't really matter because we've already got the overkill, but. Let's overkill him even more, because that's just fun. I, I mean, if you're not doing excessive amounts of damage, you're just doing it wrong. Wolfric does a lot of attacks with his. Um, Ursula's level 2 heals, and even though we don't need any healing, one, because the fight's over, two, because we're already at full health. Yeah, I mean, hey, why not? I'm always going to use Crescent as the level 2, because Crescent's level 2 is amazing. Oh, 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 nearly, nearly missed it. We'll do Pandora's level 3. Now, you'll notice that on the, on the top left, there's a little bar that shows up. Um, you, basically what that does is, if you manage to get that bar all the way up to full with the chain attack, then you'll, everyone in the party will do level 4 specials. I think it's with all of their blades. It might just be with the blade that they currently have equipped. Um... It's useful, we don't count on it too much, but that defeats Jin. Uh, how? How is he still moving? Even that Petroka girl couldn't withstand it. No, it's working. His powers are certainly limited now, but Jin, he's one of the most powerful blades in history. Even so, we can beat him. We just have to work together. I don't think so. What? Fun! You are no slave. Be free now.
getan. No. No. Why? Jin! Why the hell would you do this? What good does it do you? Why, you ask? Then let me ask you this. Blades are granted phenomenal power from our Creator on high, yet we are doomed to never remember. Why? What? The accumulation of memories is what allows mankind, no, all life to grow, change, evolve, but blades are fleeting. When we return to our cores, our memories are lost, our growth snatched away forever. People are so different. Man's life, too, has an end, yes. However, though each individual life is fleeting, you pass on your memories, allowing you to grow as a species, as a culture. Why does Indol control all the core crystals? By controlling the moment of every blade's birth, they enslave our entire kind. How is that fair? We have no culture because Indol decrees it. Because that's what your kind do. Jin! Why are you the masters and we the slaves? It is we who embody the very nature of this world. Blades embody the world. I don't get what you... If you saw the last state of humanity, you'd understand. Now that you have come this far, there can be no turning back. But I'm afraid your journey ends here. Standing around for show that scumbag what's what. What? It's Akos. Malos sent me. Time to make an exit. Ready? <laughs> Who says we're going to let you go? <laughs> you really don't understand, do you? You really think this is over? What the? Certainly. But some energy still remains deep in its core. Don't you see? It's like a blade weapon. Well, you seem busy. I'll leave you to it. Bye. Wait! Ah! So one thing that I think seems I fairly obvious no is that my account, I have my profile picture, has Jin. Obviously there is a little bit of, you know, editing to it, but I think you can- I, I've mentioned that Jin, uh, I think way back in like the third or fourth episode, I've mentioned that Jin is one of my favorite characters, and I think you're starting to see why. There's definitely, you know, there's more to him than we all thought. Yes, there is the fact that he's a blade, but even just, you know, his mindset towards the blades. And yeah, it seems kind of weird that, you know, these things that have essentially infinite power are just, you know, they're essentially just used as weapons. And yeah, there's obviously, you know, the story's not done. There's more about him that we'll get to learn as time advances. But just again, I, I just love the characters in this game. And, yeah, just, uh, one, one of, uh, although, that said, one of my biggest gripes was the way that they handled the reveal that Jin was a blade. I remember the entire game I was learning, what's the deal with Jin? Why is he still around? And then they kind of was like, yeah, he's a blade. There, again, I love the reveals, I just, not the biggest fan of how they execute those. I still think Jin is a great character. And, again, he is one of my favorite characters, but still. Now, uh, 
course, to go away from that serious moment, we have, uh, yeah, Pandora's level 4. It's a bit intense. Now, uh, um, well, usually there is a lot of, you know, attention to detail on, you know, this on the side of battles, um, perhaps, unfortunately, we don't get to see Fan while, you know, while we're doing this fight. Um, again, maybe that's not too unfortunate, all things considered, and we have, uh, Shackle Blade on us. Um, Shackle Blade, what reduces that? I think Ice defeats Shackle, uh, seals Shackle Blade. Um, again, I don't remember what all the different level 3 combos actually do in terms of what they seal, because most of them aren't too important. Um, I more of just know what the, um, the fire one, I know, seals blowdown just because, or er, seals not back. No, seals self-destruct, sorry. Because you just use fire so much, and self-destruct never really shows up. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get this level 3 in. And, okay, well, I was expecting it to be, um, to be Rex that would get the, um, that would get the level 3, but Adenine works as well. Get the blow down. And we'll, well, uh, luckily we had already used the, the blade arc by the time that we got the shackle blade on us. Um, I'm just waiting for Chrisette's level 2 to power up. There we go. Yeah, it is Ice that seals Shackle Blade. So if we can do that, if we can, if we can get Ursula in. Oh, perfect. It's almost like I planned it. Um, I didn't. I, yeah, I feel like it, I feel like that's not too much of a secret that I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's be real. Um. I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, no clue what, what I'm doing at any point in time, but uh, hopefully this chain attack will be able to take care of things. Um, hopefully we'll be, uh, we should be, yeah I want to make sure that we can at least take care of one of them. Um, honestly, eh, actually, we will probably be fine in terms of, um, yeah, in terms of, uh, getting through as many attacks as possible. Um, I'm actually gonna go with Pandoria, just because. Yeah, I'm pretty confident that we can get through. Um, I actually don't want to use Ursula right now because I don't want to break that ice or that wind one until our next go of attacks. Because then we can just inflict more damage if we have. Three rounds, of, if we have four rounds of attack rather than just three, we'll toss in Pandoria again. Um, I do have to again just um, overall, if you if you can, remembering what every special does in terms of like how many attacks and what other effects they have, uh, that could be really helpful. It's not necessary by any means. Um, you can kind of you can definitely guess your way through it, but yeah. Like, there's some that are pretty easy to remember, so like, Chrisette's level 2, I remember because it's just so overpowered, um, in terms of healing. Um, Haroon's level 1 does a ton of attacks, Bridget's level 3 does a ton of attacks. Um, again, there are just some that you just kind of eventually learn. Um, yeah. And again, just... Your favorite blades, you are going to know them more often. Like I, I definitely know Zenobia's level three and four way too well, but that defeats Ace's core. So let's see what the results are. I don't get it. I'm, I'm meant to be a driver now. I have a blade of my own, but I couldn't do anything. Oh, fan, nothing's changed. I'm just as weak as I've always been. Jin, what happened to make you like this? What is that? Dad! Orion Army! So many of them! What? 
No! Shit! Who gave that damn order? At this rate, I don't think there's any stopping them. How so? They think Mor Ardain attacked them illegally, with no declaration of war. This is bad. If someone doesn't explain what's really going on... But there's no time for that. So what? We just give up? Heavy cannons. That's Uriah's main weapon. Here too. More Ardain also readying artillery. I don't care if we're not going to make it in time. We need to get to Uriah. Right. Wait. <laughs> 